one of two missile systems in use by the artillery today. It is shown here in its primary configuration, aboard the self-propelled launcher, or SPL. The SPL is a diesel-powered, tracked vehicle that carries all equipment necessary to fire the lance. Once it has been positioned on its pre-surveyed firing point, and its road wheels locked out to form a stable firing platform, Lance can be made ready to fire in just a few minutes. Operational since 1972, Lance is designed for general support to the core commanders. It is 20 feet long and 22 inches in diameter and weighs approximately 2,900 pounds with a nuclear warhead and approximately 3,400 pounds with a non-nuclear warhead. The main assemblage contains the liquid propellant tanks, the rocket engine, and the gyro-stabilized inertial guidance system. The warhead section is designed to carry either a nuclear or non-nuclear load. The gunner proceeds to bore sight the missile by aligning its gyro axis precisely with his sight unit. Then the warhead parameters are inserted, and the missile elevated to one of two firing elevations. Elevate! Halt! The remote theodolite operator uses a theodolite to lay the missile. He makes sure that the missile is aligned to the firing azimuth. The portable monitor programmer is used to insert the data into the missile's guidance system and to control the firing sequence. After removing the upper one of the anti-propulsion unit, the missile is ready for launch. The firing cable is unreeled, and the remote firing device is positioned approximately 100 meters from the missile. At the proper time, Two, Lance is fired. One, fire. Once the missile has reached the necessary velocity, the larger booster engine shuts down, while a small sustainer engine continues to burn. During flight, the guidance system corrects for variations in air density and winds, and keeps the missile on course to the target. This might be a large troop concentration, an airfield, a communications complex, an enemy missile site, or some other critical military installation. The non-nuclear warhead carries a cargo of 836 bombets, which are released above the ground and explode on impact. Designed to work in conjunction with the SPL is the loader transporter 
another configuration of the same tracked vehicle. It can carry two complete Lance missiles. And by use of its fixed length boom, can transfer the missile to the launchers. Both the SPL and the loader transporter are highly mobile vehicles. With their watertight hulls and a rubber shroud covering the road wheels, they can negotiate inland waterways. They are air transportable. Additional versatility has been built into the land system by making its launch fixture removable. Within minutes, the launch fixture can be converted by attaching wheels, jacks, and tow bar from the mobility kit to produce the launcher zero link or LZL. This is a lightweight auxiliary launcher configuration that can be towed or carried by medium helicopters during air mobile operations either as an internal or external load. Reloading the LZL in the field during air mobile operations when the LT is not available is accomplished through use of this portable tripod hoist. In fact, all essential elements of the Lance missile system are air transportable by helicopter. Elevate! Its elevating and traversing hand wheels are entirely hand operated. The Lance missile system is virtually as mobile and reliable as cannon artillery and gives the field commander a versatile, quick action weapon that can hit distant targets with great accuracy and with devastating impact.